Hi, I'm Brenda Watson. Welcome to my blog. Today, I want to talk about water. More specifically, what is in our drinking water. Now, there has been a lot of controversy about water fluoridation, not only in the United States, but in other countries as well. And opposition groups to water fluoridation have been around since the 1940s. Forties. Now, some consider the fluoride that we put in our water supply, and I'm one of those, to be harmful when ingested for long-term periods of time. And there have been valid concerns that the amount ingested is totally unregulated and can be a health risk, especially in our young children and those that have kidney disease, while the benefit of fluoridation has long been questioned. Now, the largest survey ever conducted in the United States, which was over 39,000 children, by the National Institute of Dental Research, guess what it showed? That there was little difference in tooth decay among children in fluoridated and non-fluoridated communities, as well as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has now acknowledged that the mechanism of fluoride's benefits are mainly topical, not systemic. Thus, you don't have to swallow fluoride to protect your teeth. You could actually rinse your mouth out with it. We also know that fluoride, by ingesting it, can also affect the amount of good bacteria in our digestive tract. That's another reason we don't want to be swallowing it. So since swallowing fluoride is unnecessary, there is no reason to force people to drink fluoride in their water supply. But guess what, folks? We have been forced to do it. Many countries have discontinued water fluoridation. And as of July 2009, the European Court of Justice ruled that fluoridated water be regulated as a medicine. This means it can no longer be part of the normal water supply in the entire UK or Ireland, nor can it be in any water used to make food goods. This means not only in households, but every single wholesale and retail outlet in fluoridated areas of the UK and Ireland. They either have to cease production or install an alternative water supply. This decision also bans all processed food products from countries such as the USA, Australia, and New Zealand that uses fluoridated water in the foods. They have to stop with using those products in the UK and Ireland. So this ruling must be enforced not only in European countries, but also applies to any country or external state that wishes to trade food products. This European ruling may in fact be the beginning of the end of fluoridation. Thank you and thank you Europe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.